Jeffrey, is that your serious face? Can you say hi to- Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today I'm doing a collaboration with my amazing friend Ann Morrison here on YouTube, so I will have her channel linked down in the description box down below. Please go check out her channel. Anne is actually the only person that I know on YouTube that I've actually met in person. She used to live in my area, and now she lives all the way across the country. She left me. But we met through my brother, and we've known each other for years, and she is so sweet. She is a mom, she's a grandma, and she lives with her family in Oregon. And she is just so sweet and so amazing. She does beautiful, colorful, fun looks. She has a faux hawk, mohawk type of hairstyle. She likes to color her hair funky colors like I do. And her husband is sometimes on her channel as well. I've been in a couple of collaboration groups with her. We did collaboration together. And I know that you guys will enjoy watching her as well. So we got together today to do a springtime makeup look. And we basically just decided we wanted to do something inspired by like a spring garden. So when I think of spring garden, I think of many different colors. But the main color that I think about is green. And so that's what I'm going to focus on today. So, I want to do um, a really pigmented look, and I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to do like a mixture kind of. I'm going to use my MAC paint stick because I love using a white eyeshadow base, and then I'm going to put, a, I already put a little bit of uh, Layla Posh Amplify on my lids, and it basically makes any eyeshadow that you want to be really intense, like that you maybe have trouble working with or something, it makes it more intense. So it comes like this in this big tub and it smells amazing. It smells like cocoa butter kind of and, or coconut oil. And it just has a very light fragrance, but I love it for, I just put the tiniest amount. If you have oily eyelids, I don't recommend it, but if you have dry eyelids or you want to intensify something on your face, then I highly recommend it or on your eyes, lips, you can put it anywhere you want. So, um, Nina actually just posted a video talking about Amplify and also she has something called Face Base, which I have on the way I ordered it. So that is more of like a primer moisturizer, uh, type of situation. And Amplify is just, just what it's called. Like Amplify, it amplifies I mean, it is nourishing. It has oils in it and stuff like that, but it's to basically amplify colors. So I put a little bit of that down on my eyelids first because in that video that she created on her Instagram, which I will have Laylee Posh, all the information linked down below, she talked about um, how it works really well with neons. And one of the shades I'm going to use is this neon. I could not find my other stack that I created. Um, I have a stack of the pastel neons and also the, um, the regular neons from Makeup a Murder. So this is the green from that collection and this is from the regular neons. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to put that in my crease. And then we're going to put some fun, like shimmery greens and stuff like that on the lid. So first I'm going to take this one. Now it's a neon pigment, so it's going to, it's going to be messy, but that's okay. So I cannot wait to see what look, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's been a while since I've used it. And yes, the Makeup and Murder Neons are very pigmented but i don't remember them being quite this pigmented um i definitely would agree that the amplify works well with neons that is insane and it works especially well with this because it, this is like a drier formula so i feel like it 
you know, is definitely going to work better since it's an emollient product. It's going to work better with like a drier eyeshadow. That is insane. I can't wait to see what look Anne creates. We, you know, just basically said based on a spring garden, flowers, like a bright springy type of look. I am going to incorporate like some darker greens as well. But I think I'm going to do mostly greens on the lid. And then I might do like some purples and pinks on the lower lash line. To incorporate, you know, the different colors of the flowers. So we will have to see what she creates. And while you guys are watching this, I'll be watching her. And then I hope you guys will go check out her channel. We started out... Um, together in the dirty half dozen the group that we did together so we haven't done that group and I haven't done a collab in a while um but we used to do collabs once a month in that group and it was fun okay so now I'm gonna take a shade from shroud cosmetics it's this one right here actually no sorry I'm gonna start out I have a bunch of stuff sitting in front of me I'm going to start out with the Feral Palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. This reminds me of a spring garden. Like, that is just, uh, their artwork is beautiful. Okay, so I'm actually going to go into, um, I'm going to go into Ivy, this dark green right here. And I'm going to put that on my outer V because I want the darker to be on the outer. And then I'll put that Shroud Cosmetics shade on top I almost feel like that neon like blended itself <laughs> like I barely had to do anything I just tapped it on and there it was that was crazy I always forget how pigmented those neons are they're by far the best neons that I think I've ever used although I still need to get the biohazard shades or the shades from the Biohazard palette from Lele Posh because I missed out on the palette, but she does sell them as singles, so I need to order them because I've seen Debbie do some beautiful looks with them. Now, Menagerie Cosmetics does have a lot of kickback and fallout, but that's fine. That's why I do my, my base, or yeah, my base last, my eyes first. And you guys know I love my bold looks. So what's everybody doing to stay sane? Are you, you know, going for walks? Are you watching shows, movies? And if you're watching shows and movies, please give me recommendations in the comments. Because I have, just to give you an idea, I have Hulu, I have Netflix, I have Amazon Prime. And I love finding new shows and stuff to watch. I really like true crime shows and I love um I love true crime shows and I love like dramas and I love some reality TV. And then I also love um horror movies. <laughs> love scary thriller horror type movies. Just want to clean that up just so I can get an idea of where we're at. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to try to just use the shimmers with, um, no, I'm going to use a little bit of glitter glue. I'm a creature of habit. I can't help it. I love glitter glue. I know that a lot of these shades are pigmented enough that you don't need it, but I feel like I need it. I also feel like I know myself well enough that if I don't put the lid on this, I'm going to knock the neon green pigment all over the floor. So <laughs> I'm going to just put the lid on that. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the NYX glitter glue. I don't know what I did with my Too Faced one. I was using that one for a little bit, but, and I'm just going to take this kind of flat shader-ish brush. Well, do I have one that's a little bit, I don't know what I did. I was on a live stream earlier today and I have no clue what I did with my, um, my Wet n Wild, my new Bretman Rock 
Wet n Wild Flat Shader Brush. I really liked it. <laughs> And I have no clue what I did with it. It's probably on the floor somewhere or in one of my millions of brush holders. I'm sure I'll find it when I don't need it. And I'm not cutting the crease, but I'm kind of doing like a faux cut crease with the glitter glue. I'm going to wipe that off. And then I'm going to go into, this is my little singles. I have... Menagerie Cosmetics in here. I have Gimme Glow and then I have these three are my Shroud Cosmetics shades that I just got. So I'm going to take this teal. It's like a teal bluey green. It's really beautiful. I'm just going to put some of that on the outer V. Kind of just going into the um, dark green from Menagerie. Because then I want to go into a different green and then another green. It's going to be a very green look. But like I said, green just reminds me of gardens. So I don't know if you noticed, but I even have my floral shirt on for this look. I didn't want to do pastels because I've done a few pastel looks lately. And so I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I have this single eyeshadow right here from JD Glow Cosmetics. And it is called Seaweed. And I'm just going to take it on my finger because it applies best on my finger. And it's a multi-chrome, supposedly. Um, sometimes it looks like a multi-chrome to me in certain lights and sometimes it doesn't. But it's pretty regardless. But it shifts to like a blue-green and a green. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. And then last but not least, we're going to go into my one of my favorite shades from Lele Posh called Encore. Whew, that shade transforms everything you put it on top of. And I'm so happy that I bought like the biggest pan that she sells because I need to be bathed in it. I love it. And I think I'm going to go in with the same, like, thicker flat shader brush, just so I can pack on a little bit more. Yeah, this, this brush picks it up really well. Um, a thinner flat shader brush, for some reason, doesn't. I need them to come out with the third season of the show, You. I don't know if you guys have watched that, but I've watched the first two seasons. No spoilers, though, because I know Debbie hasn't seen the rest of the first season, so I can't tell her about it just yet, but I love that show. If you haven't watched it and you like, like, a dark comedy thriller type of show, definitely. So this is my Lele Posh, like, singles that I have. I need to get a bigger palette to put all of them in, but this is the shade Encore, and it kind of looks like a... I don't know, like a goldish with like a reddish base. It's really interesting because when you put it, well, you'll see when I put it on, it is like a green, like a lime green goldy situation. And everything I put it on top of, it just looks stunning. And it looks different depending on what you put it on top of. But I think that's perfect for the inner part. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use Dime Piece, which is a Lele Posh green like highlighter slash inner corner shade. Oh my gosh, I almost went into the wrong shade. And actually, I want to take Serpentine from Lele Posh. It's a very deep green. And I'm just going to put that right over top because it's a shifty green 
I just didn't want to waste that, but I'm going to take it with my brush. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was the right call. It's so pretty. I know this is a lot of green going on. Do you guys wear green eyeshadow? Let me know down below. I love green. Green is one of my favorite shades to wear my eyes. Green and blue. That literally took it up a notch. You can apply it with a brush, but obviously these shifty shades go really well with your fingers. Okay, let me go off camera and do my base, and then I'll be right back, and we'll finish up the eyes. Okie dokie. So, uh, I thought we were recording. We were not. So, I finished up my under eyes, and basically what I used was the ColourPop liner in um, Piggy Bank, which is like a purpley, no clue where I just said it. It was just here, but then I used the shade purple from uh, Lele Posh, and then I took the Encore shade, and I put that on the lower lash line as well, but we are going to do the inner corner highlight, and we're going to do the highlight on the face, so I'm going to take a little brush, if I can find one, yes, okay, so I'm going to take this, and this is Dime Piece, it's like a very, like, greenish, uh, it's like a icy shade that had like a shit that has like a greenish, pinkish, goldish, multicolored shift. I don't know how to explain it, but it's gorgeous. So I'm going to take that. And I'm just going to plop that in the inner corner. I think that's going to be beautiful. And then I'm actually going to take another shade that I think will go well with it. Okay. And then I'm going to go into my Bitter Lace Beauty. Oh, I also used the Makeup Revolution bronzer. This one right here. And as my blush, which I love because it's like a glowy shade, I used Flushed which is this shade right here from Lele Posh. It's just a single eyeshadow, and it's just this really beautiful, like, ethereal-looking, like, pink shade, and I love it as a blush. Spoiler alert. So, I have these Bitter Lace Beauty, I have this Bitter Lace Beauty palette, and it has a bunch of different highlighters in it, and Pastel Pucker is one of my favorites. Um, it is blinding, insanely blinding as well. And I'm just going to pop that over top because I love the combination of Dime Piece and Pastel Pucker. I don't know what it is, but the two together are amazing, not only for... <coughs> Just drop my highlighter brush for inner corner highlight, but they're amazing for um, your face highlight as well. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to take my Apocalyptic Beauty Spray. You do not need to spray your face beforehand, but I always spray my face before highlight. Um... Although I have been letting it dry a little bit more. And I put these little butterfly clips in because it's a spring look. So I'm going to take Dime Piece first. And I'm just going to put that on. Actually, I want to test this out because this was one of the many ways that Amplify can be used. And that was to tap some on your cheek before you put your highlight on and it's supposed to amplify it so that's what I'm going to use it for because I wouldn't use it as a moisturizer personally I'm excited because I ordered her face base so I can't wait to see can't wait to try it and I can't wait to get my sugar babies in oh man that's stunning. And I think this is the perfect highlight for this look. Because like I said, it has like a greenish shift in person. 
it's called dime piece and it just I don't know but it also has like pink reflects as well it's so beautiful I think I'm actually just gonna leave it like that I don't think I need I mean I like mixing it with pastel pucker but when I put the amplify over top of it it kind of looks like I already did put pastel pucker on top if you guys were in the live stream that Debbie and I did, Pastel Pucker is what I used on that live stream. I don't know why, but I've really been loving this like wet, glowy look lately. And then for my lips, I used the Sephora Lip Stories um, lipstick in the shade Sweater Weather, which is just like a mauve pink shade. But I did use a lip liner, and it is from Essence. And I really like this one. It's, I don't know what it's called. I always try to look and I cannot. Aga. That's the only thing I see on here. Number 11. Oh, Sucker for Gray. I don't know what Aga is, but it's, it's written on there. So I'm going to spray my face one more time. And then I'm done. So this is my, I always get powder in my hairline. So this is my springtime makeup look. I love it. It reminds me of a garden. I kind of went off of um, those flowers. They're called, uh, I think in English, they're called pansies, um, I believe. They're like the purple and they have obviously green leaves, green stems, and the, but they're like purple and um, yellowish green on the inside. I don't know. They're beautiful. So I kind of went off in an inspiration for that. So I love the way this look turned out. It could also be a Joker look <laughs> because it's green and purple, but I love this combination. So let me know what you guys think down below. Please go check out Anne's channel and thank you for doing this collaboration with me. I can't wait to see your look. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Nope. Come back. I forgot something. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I forgot this. I forgot my stamp dog here. I got a stamp and I'm like, no, I need to go back on camera and use it because when am I, I mean, I can use it anytime I want, but I mean, this is the perfect time to use it because it is a flower stamp. So I'm like, why did I not, why did I not remember? I even set it out, but I'm a little tired. I'm a little delirious. So, um, and this is really hard to open. Come on, come on. So yeah, so I got these stamps on Amazon. I got a flower, I got a heart, I got a star, and I got a moon. And actually Danielle just got the same stamps from Debbie, I believe, in a, a birthday gift. So, but yeah, I got this set and I have yet to use the flower one. And I was like, this would be the perfect opportunity. So these have an eyeliner, like a regular liner on one side and can't get it open but it has a liner on this side and the liner works really really well and then it has a flower stamp on the other side so I have to do some flowers because that's the whole theme right yes 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 so I just did three flowers on each side and yeah, I think that I'm going to leave it like that. I like it like that. So thank you for coming back and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.